Hi everyone, welcome to Poonam's kitchen and welcome to my new kitchen. We recently moved to a new house and I am so excited to be doing my first video in the new kitchen. Today I am making a very very special Indian flatbread. It's made from samo seeds also known as sawa ke chawal in Hindi. These flatbreads are eaten especially during days of Navratras, the days of fasting. But in my house there is no specific day, no specific time to make these flatbreads because they are so special. They are super soft, super tender and they just melt in your mouth. If you like the video, do give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel Unam's Kitchen and do like me on Facebook on my account Unam's Kitchen. So let's see what all do we need to make Samak ki chawal ki roti, a flatbread made from samo seeds, super soft. Here I have two cups of samo seeds, three large potatoes boiled and peeled, one and a half tablespoon oil, two teaspoon sugar, five cups of water, the water is at room temperature, some oil for making the rotis on the griddle. This is how the samo seeds look, they are very tiny seeds. I washed the seeds thoroughly with water and transferred them to this microwave safe bowl. I'll put in all the water and the salt. Now this bowl goes in the microwave for 15 minutes. First 5 minutes at 100% power, then I'll give it a good mix, then 10 minutes at 80% power. So here it goes in the microwave. This is how the seeds are looking after 15 minutes in the microwave. They are crumbly. I'll transfer this to another dish for some quick cooling. And in the meantime, I'll mash these boiled potatoes. The seeds have now cooled down and I could knead the dough. I'll put in all the oil and spread this mashed potato all over. Now is the time to use my hands to knead the flour. Like this. The dough is now ready. It took me around 5 minutes to bring the dough to this stage. Now if I make a ball out of this, it's not crumbling anymore. This is how it looks like. I'll give the dough 10 minutes to rest. I've been able to get 24 such balls out of the dough and now it's time to roll these into discs. I'll set the griddle at high heat. The maximum heat this is an electric griddle i just prefer it because i can put three to four rotis in one go just like pancakes but you could very well use the gas stove you may use a skillet you may use a regular tawa or any pan keep the heat somewhere between medium to high if you're doing it on the gas stove when the griddle gets heated up i'll do some preparations here i have a ziploc baggie i will convert this into a rectangular piece. I'll make two cuts, one along the base and one along the length of the bag. This is going to help us in rolling the dough. So here I have a rectangular piece. The griddle is now ready. I can feel the heat. I will take one ball and put it between the two flaps of the Ziploc bag, like this. Cover it up. And now I'll use my palms to roll this. Do not use your fingers to roll out the dough, else there will be ridges on the roti and it will not bake evenly. So using my palms, I'll give this circular motion. Keep moving the ball clockwise and the disc will flatten. We want somewhere between 1 mm thickness and I'm looking at around somewhere between 3 to 4 inches of diameter. This is how it looks. Before putting it on the griddle, I'll just apply some oil. I need it more as a primer, like a primer before the paint. And with a paper wad, I'm going to dab off the extra oil. With one hand, I'll hold the Ziploc. And with the other hand, I'll support the roti. And take it off the Ziploc bag, like this. And put it straight on the griddle. 
it's really hot. I'm sure you can hear that sound. If need be, you could apply some oil on your palms. Easy, super easy. I remember when I started doing this 20 years back, I did not have access to such Ziploc bags or even cling film. You could use a cling film as well. In those times, we were always using poly bags, the ones in which we get milk. Now this roti takes a little more time than a regular wheat flour roti. It takes almost four minutes on one side. So putting three or four rotis in one go on the griddle really helps and saves a lot of time. Now before flipping this, I will apply some more oil. I'm spraying the oil. You would use a brush or a spoon. Let's check on this one. Yeah, this is ready. You can see it's golden brown from this side. I want the same on the other side as well. Just pressing these little with the spatula for even cooking, even browning. This one should be ready by now. Yes, it is. This is what I want. And this roti is so soft. It is so tender. You could just press it like that. It's so soft. It doesn't break off. It's not brittle. It's so soft. It just melts in your mouth. Yummy, delicious samvak kichawal ki roti. Way juicier than the roti made from the savak flour. So guys, you saw how easy it is to make these flatbreads from samo seeds. Enjoy these flatbreads with potato curry or any other curry of your choice. Hope you liked my recipe. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Poonam's Kitchen. See you again with a new recipe, a new tip, a new idea very soon. Till then, bye.